All right. Hi, everyone, and thank you once again for joining us on the Coffee with Coaches podcast. I'm your host, Michael Pacheco, and today I have with me Bianca Bruce. As a strategist and brander, Bianca pays attention to the details that set her clients apart in the marketplace. The branding and marketing her company produces are informed by an intentional and thorough strategy rooted in values that create a stronger foundation and more reach for her clients' businesses. Finally, Bianca believes that your work is an impactful expression of your values. Bianca, welcome to the podcast. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for joining us. Let's dive right into the questions here. Question number one, Bianca, why did you become a coach? That's a great question. I became a coach about 20 years ago, and it's actually because I had hired a coach. I was in sales. I was in the sales world. I was managing a real estate company, real real estate team, very successful team. And I was a young mom, very busy. And my uh, broker at the time suggested I hire a coach, which immediately made me think of a sports coach, but it was actually a a business coach and a personal Mm -hmm. life coach. And so I was working with her. She was wonderful. And she made an observation that that's really my style that I coach and and see people to their success. And Mm -hmm. so that when I moved to California became sort of my, my guiding light of saying, okay, if if somebody else observes those skills and strengths in me, I need to pay attention. So I decided to embark on that journey of becoming a coach and consultant almost 20 years ago. Nice. I always love to hear when, when our coaches, you know, eat their own dog food, so to speak. Every, every coach should also have, should also have a coach. <laughs> Absolutely. I have not stopped having a coach since then. Nice. Question number two, what are you doing in your coaching business today that's unique? So one of the things that we do differently, and I say we is because I've grown my practice into having uh, a team of people who are uh, supporting me and and supporting my clients, Uh, what we do differently is that we really uh, pay attention to the strategy that a client may need to be able to achieve their goals. So I think a lot of times coaching is a a personal journey. And so what we bring to the table is a a bit of an advisory model as well Mm -hmm. with an understanding that the goal is, is, is not the most important thing, actually. What is the most important thing is your approach, your strategy, and then the tactical steps you take. Very often, my clients surprise themselves when they achieve their goal because they, they, they just use that as a directional pull, so to speak, but really paid much more uh, close attention to the tactics they implemented. So I would say that that makes us different. I love it. That's great. Question number three, where do you find your clients? I've been so fortunate to be able to have a client base that is coming to me by referral. Now, mm-hmm. I know many entrepreneurs really want that. They think, you know, the referral-based business is where I want to be. And I am so grateful for clients who refer me. And I am continually wanting to reach outside of my referral base, mm-hmm. right? And really bringing, branching out and creating value and creating opportunities for connection outside of my clients and the their sphere of influence. So I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for my referrals. That is the majority, vast majority of my business. And I'm continually wanting to network outside of that sphere and, and grow even more, which is one of the reasons why I'm so grateful to be on this podcast. That's great. All right, Bianca, question number four, what is the biggest challenge that you face as a coach? I think as a coach, the expectation that you have all of the answers or that the answers you have are the right ones is one that I I encounter with myself frequently. Sort of that, 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 yeah, the expectation that you've got it and that you're going to be able to figure it out. And one of the things that breaks me out of that is, believe it or not, is watching cooking shows, not just Food Network mm-hmm. cooking shows, but really established chefs. I think there's outlets, Netflix, Amazon, there's things like that out there that have these journeys of these chefs and I'm watching them cook and I'm watching them explore with the ingredients and always taking another creative chance. And I think for me, that is a great example that I need to think outside of my good set of tools and skills and Mm -hmm. always want to be willing to explore what else is possible. What other ingredients can I add? How can I manipulate or change something that I'm typically used to, to perhaps achieve a different result. And then also don't be afraid to ask for help. Just because you are the expert doesn't mean that you have all of the expert answers. 
That's great. Yeah, you're never you're never done growing. You always there's always room to to grow and learn more and take more risk. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, that's fantastic. Question number five: If you had a do over in your business, what would that be? A do over. I think you know it's it's a it's a reset button, right? I would rather have a reset button than a do over. Mm -hmm. But I think if it was a do over, I am an established consultant and and business professional. I would. I would not pay attention so closely to what I think other people think of me when I first started my career. You know, being being a coach, being a consultant, being an entrepreneur is a very personal endeavor. And that's one of the things that I love about it and I love working with my clients on is what about you makes you most qualified to go on this journey? You, when you start out, may not be the most qualified for all of the answers that you're needing to provide to your clients, but you might might want to think about being the most qualified to be on this journey and so mm -hmm. if i had a do over i would do that over as it. in i wouldn't do it <laughs> yeah <laughs> take some of that self-conscious emotion and and tuck it away for a little bit <laughs> yeah very good uh bonus question what is one book that you recommend all your clients read so there is a book that I have read and read and again, and, and it's sort of like one of those that gets yellowed and gilded and is got mark pen marks in it and post-it mm -hmm. notes. And it's called Die Empty. I don't know who wrote it, but it's easily found on anywhere you prefer to, to purchase your books. And for me, that became a sort of a call to action that you give it, you give it everything you've got. And in order to do that, you have got to be really good at filling back up, right? Mm -hmm. So when you are a consultant, when you're a coach, when you're an entrepreneur, it's really easy to just give, give, serve, serve more, more, more. And I'm all about that. That's all I want to ever do. It's also really important to just fill back up. And when I am all done with my life here on earth, I want to be able to say I've, I've given it all I had. Mm -hmm. I think that's uh, Die Empty by Todd Henry. Is that correct? You Does are that sound correct. Right? That is correct. Yeah. yeah. Well done. Awesome. <laughs> that's great, Bianca. Is there anything else that you would like to add or, or pitch or promote? And also, if you could tell us where our listeners can connect with you online. Yeah, so you can find me very easily on virtually every single platform, but TikTok. I'm there, but I'm not contributing. <laughs> so I'm more of a watcher, but it's at Bianca Bruce. That's B-R-O-O-S is the last name. So at Bianca Bruce, virtually anywhere. The thing that we are doing right now that we're paying attention to a whole lot is how to create relationships. So in 2019, I launched a network, a professional network, and it's just about adding value, connecting, developing and impacting professionals to be able to, to do the work that they really want to do and add the value they want to add. I'm a firm believer in relationship, that's where it's at. Pitch and sell, very last thing I want to do. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Bianca Bruce, thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Coffee with Coaches. Thank you so much for having me. It was lovely. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to our audience for tuning in. We'll see you guys all next time. Cheers.